But yeah, from what I'm seeing here, I actually can't believe how well it's split it. No. It's unbelievable that. I honestly thought it was going to be a bit more snatchy and a little bit more lumpier yeah. than it is. But it is just going, it's splitting up a tree. gentlemen hello and welcome along to another first impression piece from us this time you join us on the glorious Yorkshire Walls uh, we are out with uh, Cavalent UK and today we're going to check out one of its uh, rock mergers so the last time we saw one of these mergers well actually we've seen it a couple of times we first saw it at Scott Grass yep. last year in 2022 obviously in a bit of grassland application yep. there very wet heavy and then we had a little trip out to Italy over to the rock factory and found out a little bit more about it there but today we're going to actually find out properly a lot more about it today yep. and actually get our hands on it and use it and uh, basically see what the crack is with your rock merger so to help us out today and basically show off the machine i've got mr david perry from uh, Cavaland uk and also a big shout out to uh, farmstar at uh, market Wayton who have yeah pretty much organized this uh, this little demo yeah. for us so david we'll get stuck in i mean first of all what model have you uh, brought for us today? So today we've got the RT730 machine behind us here. So this is the largest machine in the small chassis range. So this is a combination machine. So it means we can swing the beds together for end belting, or we can move them apart for center swathing. And obviously this is like, say this is the RT730. Yeah. And whereabouts does this sit in the range? And what other models have you got as well? So say this is the, this is the, the biggest of the small range of machines. So there's a 630 and 730. And then once we go into the big chassis machines, um, we go from 870 through to 1220. Um, in the UK, we stop at 1150 because the 1220 is a five meter transport width. Right, it's so a monster. It's, it's a beast, <laughs> yeah. Right, so in terms of working width with this machine, obviously it will vary depending on what yeah. configuration you're going for, but when they're both close together, what width are we talking there? Is that what the so, 730 relates to? Yeah, then? so the, 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 the mergers always work with a DIN working width. So if you've got the, the belts together, it's, it's always your pickup width plus your swath. Right. So if you've got them apart, your swath is in the middle, so it's outside pickup to outside pickup. Um, and if you've got them together, it's outside of your one belt all the way across until the outside of the swath on the other side. So the DIN working width on this machine is always staying at about 7.3 right. metres. Right, so that overall yeah. working width plus yeah. the swath yeah. is 7.3 yeah. metres. And do you do a, a front mounted one as well? Yes, so we do do a linkage mounted machine, which actually can be used front and rear, uh, which is called the RT380. Um, so it's a 3.8 meter DIN working width, 2.95 pickup width, um, but it can be front or rear mounted. So if you've got a reverse drive tractor or a little hill farm, you can back up the hills rather than going forwards with it. Right, got you. And when you're, presumably you can, as well as using that on its own, you'll yeah. be able to use that in combination with one of your trail machines as yes. well. Yes, yeah, we saw that at Scottgrass. So we had the front mounted machine clearing the swath, clearing the crop, onto the right hand side and then the rear bed picked it up to put it back in so we weren't running over the crop pushing yeah. it into the wet wet ground it's got grass um and getting soil contamination in the crop that's it but also as well um for the coming season uh, we'll also see the rs series of machines which are more specifically designed for short wet crop forage um so, so we'll proper see, uk and irish spec yes, sort of machine so we'll see those with a, a crop press roller hydraulically um suspended crop press roller um, and a different tying and belt design, um, also with electric height adjustment underneath as well from the car. Right, so you quite a bit of development to come. Yes, right. yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Cool. Right, so 
The plan today, boys and girls, what we're going to do first, we're going to have a little walk around of this machine just to see what we, well, what we've got and what we're dealing with and get stuck into a little bit of detail. And then once we've done that, we're going to get stuck into, well, actually using it. And yep. I think today we are going to split some 40 foot swaths yep. left by the combine. Uh, so obviously we're trying it out in straw today, which would be good to see because, I mean, you know, with it's not all about the grass, no, is it? it's with not these all machines? about grass, no, no. They um, they really come into their own with um, with with, with tur particularly turning straw because they'll roll the swath straight over for drying, particularly in the season like this. Um, and also as well, they they they're um, very good at specialist crops such as um, lucerne and alfalfa, where the protein is in the leaf. And yeah. We don't want to damage the leaf, so they're very very gentle in how they windrow the crop. That's it. Spot on. Right, let's dive into this machine then and see what we've got. So if you want to start at the front there, yep. and I mean, first of all, what sort of minimum horsepower requirement do you need for a machine like this? So the minimum horsepower re requirement for the RT730 is 70 horsepower. Right. So quite a low horsepower requirement. Um, and then we've got um, one, uh, one single acting spool for lifting up and down, yep. and a double acting spool for unfolding and changing the beds between center swathing and end belting. So, and then we've got PTO drive coming in at between 700 and 1,000. So depending on the uh, moisture of the crop and what crop we're dealing with and what we're trying to do with it, we can vary the PTO speed, which then proportionally varies the pickup and belt speed. Yeah. Um, and then we can adjust the proportional difference between the belt and pickup on a valve separately on the back. Okay. So if we need to move the crop quickly, but slow the pickup down, yeah. or vice versa, we can do that by adjusting valves so on the back chest. there's a lot of fine adjustment you can do yeah, on this machine. Yeah, a very, right. very versatile machine, yeah. So this is a two bed machine, so we've got two hydraulic pumps. If we're on the larger machines, we'd run three hydraulic pumps, Yeah. because we'd have a center bed. So oh. this here contains all the oil the machine needs. So um, that there is full up to this join here with our oil level on the sight gauge up here. So it's very easily visible from a maintenance point of view. Yeah. So we've got the cylinders on the back here for raising and lowering the machine, one either side, one for each um, stub axle. Um, so what that gives is it gives us very good headland clearance with the machine. And also as well, um, when we're running it on the road, we can lower the whole center of gravity on the machine to run it very close to the road. And what we do is tend to leave 50 millimeters of chrome rod showing here. And then on this accumulator up on top of the cylinder here, that gives a suspension on the road. So it takes any grief out of the, out of the um, frame when we're running at high road speeds. Yeah. Um, from the main frame, we've got the main pivot here, uh, which the unfolding is done on these main cylinders here. Um, one either side, both work together. Um, and then we come across onto this part of the frame here. So that unfolds this part of the frame, which brings the beds down. We then have this pivot point here, which then this cylinder here pulls the beds into the center or out to adjust our working width to whether we're center swathing or end belting. We're running plastic stripper bands. Um, so the idea of these 